Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial on user authentication with Cake PHP. In this tutorial, what we're going to do is to recreate this to make it look cool. So we will look for where it is. Uh, this is always a hint. It's in users and index. Index in Cake PHP lists everything in that particular table in the database. So we're going to go to this into our SRC go into our src go into template and we go into users and then we hit on index if you come to the index you will see that of course this is the right nav we'll still treat it and uh, this is the left the rest of the navigation and um, as you can see this is a table this is users in h3 uh, if we get back to our code we'll see that this is users and the rest of this is a table so that's a table and um, if we try to put some bootstrap classes by doing table and we get back cool as you can see it's now formatted like a bootstrap table and we can add other table over other bootstrap classes for tables so that when we hover on every of the row it will change color so we'll refresh I'm refreshing right now as you can see it's now changing very cool so the next thing we can do is to make it responsive we can see table responsive 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 we we'll refresh so that when we minimize it um, stays um, cool and then the last thing we're going to do is to make it striped Yes, we want alternative rows, each row to have a different color alternatively. So we are going to normally, if you're not using Bootstrap, you're going to write a crazy CSS for it. So we'll just do table striped. It's a Bootstrap class. And um, we get back and refresh. And what do we have? After refresh, as you can see, each row, this is gray, this is white, this is gray. Cool. So the next thing we're going to do is to fish out the things we don't like in this. And um, we're basically going to remove the password field. Nobody ever needs to see anybody else's password. Even the admin, admin doesn't need to see any password. So we will go and eliminate the password field. As you can see, there's a, there's a heading for it and there's a body for it. So this is the password field in the body and uh, this is the password field in the heading. So if we get back here, we'll see that this is the heading and this is the body. So we removed both of them simultaneously. We'll just remove the password field here and we remove the password field here. Cool. So far, which other field do we have to remove? And I've refreshed. As you can see, the password field is gone. The phone field looks cool. Created, modified. We don't need modified. We are going to remove modified and uh, it is somewhere down here we remove it too and that makes us look cool i've refreshed and modified is gone so um we're going to use created because admin needs to see who registered when you understand admin needs to know um which user registered when we still need to convert this to a very cool time so that to tell us how many days ago how many minutes ago and then the next one we're going to do is that this um, maybe let's change it to button so that they will look cool we no, use normal bootstrap class this is a link action and uh, we're going to add a class to it and that is just to show you how to add classes so this is a link in cake php and then this is the where the link is going it's saying since we're in the users um when the user's controller just go to the user's action called view slash the user id when it's clicked and this one is go to the action called edit and uh, pass in the id parameter of this user and so on and so forth so what we want to do is if this link first of all wasn't in the user's controller maybe we're trying to link to another controller then we have to specify the controller we are linking to for, for instance we're going to link to this user's posts we can just say go to posts controller but that's not what we're going to do we are linking simply to users controller that's why we can afford to leave it this way so we're going to add outside here can start adding classes we can just say class 
this is the same place you can add your d your id and stuff like that it's a button and uh, the color of the button can be default according to bootstrap and if we go back and refresh there we are it's going to add a button default so we're going to make these other two buttons and um, we just copy because we like to copy and we paste right outside this box and this one we could just make it right outside this box this one gives you a warning so we have action we have this we change it to warning or danger refresh oops of course we have an error right here of two commas then we refresh one more time reload all right um the issue we have now is that this this particular column cannot contain this three button so we're going to give it a specific um size and it's in the header right here in the header the actions column needs to be bigger than the rest so we're going to say scope right here we're going to say um there are many ways we can do it but i just want to do it the manual way which is just give it uh, uh let's say 20 percent 15 percent of the, the weight is 15 percent let's see how big 15 percent is we refresh oops it's too small so we're gonna give it something like 30 percent 30 percent so 30 percent it takes 30 percent of the whole width you understand so this looks okay we're going to remove this action we don't really need it what was it doing they will just remove the word in there and um, cool looks okay uh, do we ever need to know the user's id i doubt so but in case we need it we don't need all this space for user id so we're going to limit this one to like 10 percent so we're going to do the same thing we did here bring it to the first and call it five percent they are just numbers five percent and there we are very good very very good so um this is basically how to style your users the, the only other thing we can do is to make this a link so that instead of clicking view the person can just click this directly quickly what we can do is to make it a link it's already so we couple we copy a sample link use it to replace the email and um, copy what we have in the email which is basically this user email easy to replace what we have here the email of the user then we delete what we had there in the email so we have this link and it's not a button so we remove this button class yeah this link leads to the same place as the view but then it will be the email of the user so if we refresh we realize that this is now a link and that looks okay so if we click it just to be sure that we got everything right it brings us to the user's profile so this looks amazing so far remember you can always use your own template if you feel it's better in the next tutorial we will put in a better timing we'll look at this time and fix it in the next tutorial thank you